morning and uh, welcome to the uh, Danston Engineering Dino Room today. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a video so I thought I'd uh, do a bit of a video on the, uh, the latest project that we're doing uh, which is this MX5 NC that we've got here all strapped down on the dyno. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an overview of what's been done to this car and, uh, and what we're on with really. Um, so we've obviously got everything set up there, we've got the laptop open, this car's running in the ME442 from Motorsport Electronics. Uh, excellent ECU, um, it's the plug and play version for this MX5 NC, very good bit of kit, um, plugged straight in, started up on the base map, um, even with the drive-by wire connected, uh, that was before we swapped it over to the uh, individual throttle bodies that you see here. This car has got the 2.5 Duratec in there, uh, which you've seen in our Fiesta and in our um, MK Indy. Uh, great engine um, coming in from the States, obviously, uh, and a fantastic, lovely and torquey. Um, we fitted it with a set of our 48mm throttle bodies, as you can see there. So yesterday uh, we mapped it. Um, I tried it on a few different configurations, using the injectors in the head, using the injectors in the throttle bodies. Um, we've just played about with trumpet length a little bit, so you can see there we've made some little extensions for uh, our short trumpets. So. Um, these nice machined aluminium extensions just to see if we can get a bit more torque out of it. So that's the next step really is to run it on those and see what they do for it. Uh, it was doing very well anyway. Um, so yesterday I got it up to uh, 196 horsepower um, and a lovely flat uh, torque curve of around 200 foot pounds, 195 to 200 foot pounds from very low down as you can see. So that's down at two and a half thousand revs Okay, run starts at 2000 RPM. This is where the 2.5 XLs, that torque there, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously that is done with a VCT operational. Uh, if you delete that, you can expect to see a big dip here. So if at all possible, it's nice to keep it. Obviously the ME442 runs it because the NC MX5 runs it as standard anyway. So um, we can fully control that. So what we're gonna do today is um, run this again with the 25 mil extensions um, I'm expecting to see a little bit more torque out of it but the big thing is this afternoon I'm gonna swap the manifold out just to see if we can bring the throttle bodies over here extend the manifold um, just to give it a bit more induction length and really see if we can up that torque because uh, it is pretty short at the moment we made it short so we could get it in without any body modifications in this area uh, but it does make it very tight for the air filter so we're going to try a different approach and put a nice long manifold on bring the throttle bodies right out here and uh, you can get nice big air filter on and i think it'll just look a bit tidier so uh, that's the plan <laughs> mentioned we uh, we were running the uh, 2.5 in this MX-5 and looking to um, to just lengthen the inlet so um, that's what we've done yesterday we, uh, we manufactured a new manifold and uh, so that's brought the throttle bodies outboard of the power steering pump as you can see giving us a lot longer inlet which tends to give us a bit more torque anyway so that's a, that's a good thing it's also allowed us to get this filter on much more comfortably so that's sitting nicely there it's nice and easy to fit no problem at all um, obviously this is no good for a left-hand drive car um, because of the, uh, the servo location but the old manifold that we see there, the short version, um, should be um, so we've got a bit more work to do on that setup but um, there you go. So um, we've mapped this, we spent quite a lot of time messing about with trumpet lengths um, and the final result uh, was 200 horsepower and, and 208 foot-pounds of torque as you can see we've got a nice flat torque curve all the way across from absolutely nothing uh, we, rpm wise we've got two and a half thousand rpm 190 foot-pounds all the way along 208 foot-pounds and peaking at 200 horsepower 
Um, this is fairly much in line with what we'd expect. It's uh, very similar to the Fiesta that we've got. It's got the same engine in. Um, it's a bit down on the MK Indy still. Um, we think this is very likely due to the exhaust manifold which as you can see is the eBay one that you can buy. Um, it's only got inch and a half runners and they are very short as you can see and into a tight collector um, and also into a reasonably small downpipe. Uh, these engines are quite uh, exhaust sensitive so um, this manifold actually without with just doing one run glows red hot. Uh, so you can tell that it's, uh, it's definitely restricting things there. Uh, but aside from that, I'm uh, still very pleased with the result. Um, as I say, we're using the ME442 ECU for full control and all the motorsport features that go with it. Um, and that's a plug and play with a, a little patch harness that you can see there. Uh, just a few notes, I guess, about the install of this, uh, if you were looking to do it, uh, regardless of whether it's a 2 litre or a 2.5 litre. Uh, we've converted to a, a cable throttle, as you can see, so we've got a, a throttle cable there. Uh, the pedal's been adapted, uh, that's pretty straightforward to do, we can provide some details on how to do that if, you, if you're going to go that way. Um, as I say, these are 48mm throttle bodies for the 2.5 litre, we're going to offer this in 44mm for the 2 litre. Uh, and that short manifold there, hopefully for the left-hand drive version. Uh, in terms of sort of fitment and modification, there's not a massive amount to do, a bit of plumbing, so this is obviously the short, and we haven't tied this back yet, but a bit of a shortened brake servo um, hose there. And if we come round to underneath the throttle bodies, we've just shortened all these heater pipes as they all sort of come up here and get in the way a bit um, and they're not needed obviously up there once uh, once we've got these on uh, I think they were long like that to get around the original inlet uh, so we just tidied all those up um, manipulated the those two brake lines slightly just to give it a little bit more clearance these two these two here but aside from that it all goes on nicely we're running on the standard fuel rail uh, with some four 40cc injectors they're a little bit big really you could probably go a bit smaller than that but then there's plenty of scope for uh, future proofing. And we have settled on the 25 mil trumpets that uh, we had on there before. We did go a bit longer, gained a little bit more torque, but it wasn't helping the top end power. Ultimately, this car needs uh, a better exhaust on it, a better exhaust manifold. Uh, and I think we'd see another 10 horsepower out of it, which we did on an, another MK Indy that, that uh, had a restrictive exhaust, did 198 horsepower. Uh, we swapped out the main section of the exhaust for something bigger and uh, gained an instant 10 brake, got it up to 209 and uh, around 225 foot pound of torque. So that's our MX5 NC um, throttle body conversion. There you have it. Uh, two litre or two and a half litre. Um, and if you need two and a half litre, we've got them in stock. And uh, yeah, get in touch. Thank you.